Next is from Lars Kunitz, and the subject is bidding war. Apparently, recent interviews, Tony Khan's been dropping hints that he has signed or is having talks with Goldberg. With this news, do you think that Vince McMahon will panic and try to re-sign him? I'm a Goldberg fan, but I really don't think the WWE need him. Thing is, Tony Khan has the money. He just signed Brian Cage a 60-year deal for f***'s sake. Do you think it's possible that, that Bill Goldberg is about to break records with the highest contract in wrestling history? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, if they sign him, I'm sure he's going to get a pretty penny, you know, but for a limited amount of dates. What do you, what do you, you know, I mean, I don't even really know what, what to say here, you know? Neither do I. I mean, you know, wherever he goes, he's going to get paid. Right. Um, but I don't, how much time does he really have left? Yeah. I mean, obviously with the star power and the name, he could bring something to the table, but how much would be my question. Like, I don't right. think that, I said it before, that, that crowd Goldberg's not their bag, really. Kenny Omega's their bag. Well, they, they can't war, bag. They do the Goldberg champ for Wardlow already. But he's in a he's a he's you from know? AEW. He's like a right, you know, a part of the, he grew up there or whatever. He's a homegrown that, talent, right, but right. Yeah. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100. My co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!